Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another video. I hope you guys are doing incredibly well as always. I'm on to do an energetic reading for the Divine Masculines. Just find out what's going on with them. What are they up to? What messages do they want to communicate to you, Divine Feminine? Okay, these are messages that you guys might be feeling telepathically, energetically. The reading might confirm your, <clears throat> your intuition, okay? So things you already know. Um, you can feel it. Okay, what's going on with the masculines? Okay, so I think we got three messages there. Okay, so how do I ask for your forgiveness? I send you songs, okay? If a lot of you are receiving song synchronicities where, you know, it talks about like having remorse or regret or wanting another chance along the lines of... Uh, of those types of things it's your masculine trying to reach out because many of them are they're willing to be patient you know um i feel like many feminines do hold space for the masculines like if you guys are watching this reading um it's like you can't avoid it because you're on this whole twin flame journey you can't avoid not having you know this type of unconditional love or this this bond or this energetic feeling of being connected to this person you know so it's like they're waiting on you that's what i'm hearing and they're going to wait for as long as it takes because they want your forgiveness okay so pay attention to the song synchronicities that are coming up because that could be a message for you maybe you guys might even have some of them saved um and you might just want to kind of go back and look at some of them i hold back because it's hard to trust you why would you want to love me yeah they're kind of beating themselves up about the fact that um they might have like abandoned you in some way gone back to a karmic situation or chose a karmic situation um they might have chose to hold back on communication or even truly telling you how they feel um and i feel like now it's just it's a little too late um you might be a divine feminine who is making plans to move forward and open up your heart to whatever the universe has in store for you uh and i i'm getting like you know one set of masculine depending on like the karma that they've built up they're gonna have to watch you be happy in another situation even if it's just for a little while until the scales balance um, and it's something that they're really not looking forward to um, and many of you can feel this coming as well where it's like you feel new love wanting to attract um, towards your life but somehow you feel your masculine kind of like I hate saying this word, but it's like they're cock blocking um, anyone from coming close to you or for you to have some type of new interaction with other people. Um, and your masculines know how to do this energetically is what I'm hearing as well, okay? Um, in terms of like, you know, keeping people at a distance or at bay from you. Um, this other card says here, I don't care about the distance, I'll come to you. A lot of your masculines are in your city, they're in your town, or they have traveled to your city or town. Mm -hmm. Um, and since they've done that, um, wherever they're at now, they want to get back to you. They want to come back to you, Divine Feminine. Okay, we have the wheel card here. Um, let's get one of my crystals. You know, I feel like with the wheel card, it represents, you know, a change of course for many of your masculines. They're getting serious out of nowhere is what I'm hearing. It's like you're making them want to get serious, Divine Feminine. You know, take a good look at this wheel card. Um, I feel like it's the Divine Feminine here that's pulling the strings. You know, I know I have my crystal there. It's because she's got her uh, her booty out. But I'll, I'll show you guys real quick if you can see it. But it's like she's the one kind of controlling the wheel here. Or at least it seems to be um, the feminine energy. I also feel like you're opening up a lot of possibilities for your Divine Masculine. They may be looking at the way that you live your life or... Um, like I'm saying, because they're coming to you um, from a distance, you might be in like your hometown and home, you might be like in the hometown that you both grew up in Divine Feminine, um, but you might be like really successful at what you do or like where you're located, it's more in like the city and like, you know, you're used to um, just kind of being out and about there interacting um, with people, your divine masculine, you remind them of like their neighborhood, like the girl next door type of thing, like that they've always had a crush on. Um, you know, you're independent, you're sweet, you're kind, you know, you're really good at what you do as well. Um, and you open up opportunities for many of your masculines. It's like whatever you're doing, they see you doing it and they want to do it too, or they want to be a part of it, or they want to learn from you, like how to get it done or how to do it. 
um, let me see what the Tarot of Sexual Magic says, because I hear that they're feeling really passionate towards you as well. Like you're exuding a lot of like sexual energy that says that you're in charge and in control. Um, but at the same time, it's like, you know, they get this very like soft and sweet energy, or at least this is how other people might see you. And maybe only your divine masculine knows how um, maybe fiery you can be. I'll take this one too. Okay, so we have the King of Swords coming through. Um, you know, she's just kind of kneeling before him. Um, and he kind of has his feet, you know, maybe pushing her away slightly. Um, it could represent that many of your masculines are having to be decisive and to be assertive in order to come towards you. Um, fighting off a lot of temptation. Um, they might be in karmic situations who tempt them with like money or... Um, oh, I didn't realize there was two that slid out. I thought it was just this one because we have the King of Cups here. You make him feel like the King of Cups, whereas like he kind of feels more cold when he's with this karmic person. And because your masculine feels a little bit more cold when they're with the karmic, they don't feel as creative. Like I, I feel like their finances don't flow. Their creative projects feel like dusty, you know, like it's just been sitting in the closet collecting dust and the minute they come near you or maybe they've traveled to your town or you're, they've been near you somehow and it's like energetically they can't help but feel themselves buzzing, you know, it's like they want to be near you but at the same time it's kind of creating this energy of having them push away their karmic which in turn is making this wheel start to spin a lot of your masculines are up against having to make a decision and a quick decision as well because what i'm hearing is this feminine is hesitant okay the lantern is supposed to shed a light when you're in your darkest moments in this connection and i feel like your masculines are the ones that are coming forward and trying to shed a light on like how they feel many of them want to express to you how it is they feel about you at this time you know, even if it's going to make them feel uncomfortable, even if it's the hardest thing that they've ever had to do, um, a lot of them are feeling that push to just take you by the hands and let you know where they stand. You know, it's like I feel like many of them are saying, you know what, at this time, like, what do you even have to lose? Okay. Um, let's get some course of action cards what's the masculine's best course of action at this time on the journey okay so these are too many i'll just take what came face up which is the two of cups um falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone forgiveness and the resolution of a problem don't give up your relationship can be healed okay many of your masculines won't stop trying on this journey they're you know, in some cases, many of them are feeling you as their twin flame even more than you may be feeling them as your twin flame, uh, divine feminine. Um, you know, it's like they get this push or this urge to continue to come towards you and, and try as best as they can to offer that that commitment. You know, many of them may be in that place of fantasizing about it right now, um, you know, but the ideas are there. Um, and they're wondering to themselves why the ideas are there. Many of your masculines want to move closer to you. Um, you know, they want to, they want to change their living situation is what I'm hearing for many of you. So that way they can show you that they're serious about, um, furthering this connection or deepening the bond between you two. Okay. What else is their best course of action at this time? Okay, because I feel like with the Two of Cups, it's more about like expressing themselves and ma actually making that commitment. Um, that would be their best course at this time because, you know, with this King of... Okay, I'll still take what came... What's at the very top here, okay? You know, what I feel with the... Uh, with the King of Cups is like, you know, your masculine's best course of action is to be authentic to themselves. And when they think about being authentic and like, you know, what it is they really want, it's more than just like the romance between these two. It's about your masculines feeling like this awakening that they can't stop. Um, they can't avoid um, and they know what they have to do. And it's been uncomfortable for a lot of them. It's been painful realizing that it's like, you know, all of a sudden you step into their lives and you're making them mature. 
you know, you're really helping them exude this type of king energy, getting serious about um, more than just committing to you in a relationship, Divine Feminine, but it's in a sense where it's like they commit to themselves, you know, like they commit to um, like their truth, their honesty, like how it is they carry themselves in the world. It's like if they say that they, you know, want to be in a relationship with you, they keep reaching out. You two keep, you know, coming back towards one another. It's about like having the courage to speak that truth. We have the eight of swords. Uh, you have what it takes if only you believe in yourself, thinking that you're powerless when you're not. It's like they want to express so much love, you know, but they feel powerless in your presence. You know, they don't want it all to be for nothing. Many of them are afraid of bursting the bubble as well, um, is what I'm hearing. It's like they're afraid of getting the ball rolling because there's going to be a lot of momentum going after that. It's like what I'm hearing too is there's a lot of unfor unseen forces that want you two together. And that's why you guys can't escape one another you know it's like you both on this journey may do things to try to prolong the union but the universe is like right behind you correcting all of your um like mistakes through just being hesitant okay um especially with this nine of cups uh card here it says thinking that you're powerless when you're not a lack of self-confidence that keeps you from getting what you want Many masculines want to speak up because if they don't speak up, I feel like, you know, for them, they're seeing that this divine feminine is not where she used to be. Like a lot of you are not stuck um, in this place of like waiting for your masculines or, um, you know, pining after them. It's like that energy is gone. It's long gone. The reason it's long gone is because you forced yourself to be in solitude. A lot of you endured the pain. It's like you just sat there and you took it, whether you had to cry every night to let it all out, um, you know, take walks every day, start lighting incense, start saging your house, um, just, you know, being forced to put yourself in a place where it's like, you know what, like, I'll just sit here and I'll just go through the motions and I will take care of myself. Um, many feminines have recognized that the part of them that cries or the part of them that hurts, it's like their inner child. So when you step into the divine feminine energy and you recognize yourself in that inner child moment, you know, the goddess within you will take care of that child, you know, always that is Empress energy. You know, you see the inner child within you hurting, you'll stop everything that you're doing to go and to cater to that child. Okay. So you know, this is why your masculines are drawn to you too. And many of you um, can't help but be there for them, you know, but it's like every time your masculine is in need of healing or medicine, it's like they come close to you, um, you know, just to get that, 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 just that taste of unconditional love, just that feeling of genuinely connecting with someone who, you know, despite whatever circumstances you both have in the way, um, can express that love to them it just feels good and it's natural everybody wants to feel loved um on earth right it's just one of those it's just one of those things you want to feel loved you want to feel supported you want to feel like you have somebody in your corner okay um let's go ahead and find out how the masculines are feeling towards you um especially with like feeling like you're always in their corner i'm feeling a lot of passion from saying that so let's find out what they have to say <clears throat> how do the masculines feel about the feminines okay there was a lot that came out i'll just show you guys here the pile all of these so what i'm gonna do is i like doing what fell out from the top and just taking what's right at the bottom okay Alrighty, so we have the Knave of Cups, you know, the Knave energy or the uh, Page energy. It's uh, it, like it's about an idea, you know, and I feel like because they're frustrated, it's all about uh, like expressing themselves. It's about having to make this commitment, but feeling, you know, unready in some way. The Black Cat as well indicates that you know part of this process is following their intuition and just kind of going for it the cat's like listen dude you know like 
three letters ago, like you expressed yourself perfectly. Like, why are you overanalyzing the situation? So many of your masculines are putting a lot of thought into communicating with you. For many of them, it's because they realize that, you know, a lot of forgiveness is in order. Um, many of them are fighting their ego and pride as well, especially because he's kind of so angry, right? Like he doesn't seem like he's in control. And a lot of the times when I see people or sense people losing control, it's like they're battling their ego. It's like you should do the right thing, but your pride is like, man, I feel so stupid, right? <laughs> Sometimes that's hard to admit. It's like, man, I feel so stupid. Um, but I feel like, you know, within the next few days, a lot of your masculines are going to be, you know, up against just really having to press that send button or really having to pick up the phone and call you for some of them it's you know showing up like not at your door but just letting you know they're in your area and it would be nice to see you face to face if that's okay you know a lot of them are really gonna have to be faced with that course of action um when it comes to to communicating with you divine feminine Okay, we also have the Six of Swords here. Um, you know, I won't show the image too much, guys, just because of YouTube. But, um, you know, they're both clearly, um, you know, with each other in this very vulnerable way. You guys can Google it too. You can pause the video and look up what the Six of Swords card looks like in the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Um, but I feel like you're wanting the masculine to really take that action because he's on top of her and she's wearing a necklace and the necklace is um, broken. You know, um, it's like you're wanting your masculines to have the courage to come towards you and, you know, kind of get out of their heads a little bit. Like that with them behind the bushes, it tells me that your masculine fantasizes about you a lot, but it's like they don't know how to express that. You know, it like it, their mind's all over the place when it comes to you, Divine Feminine. And it's it, it can sometimes be why they run or why they ghost because it's like they're a hot mess, you know, like they're a hot mess when it comes to finding out the right way to do this with you because the slightest thing makes them want to run or they get triggered by the slightest thing and then some some of them instead of working on themselves like trying to calm down getting more exercise you know to stop drinking stop smoking um, a lot of them if they go and exercise more they'll have more self-control over their emotions but you know again some of them can really struggle with that because they're in this energy of just wanting to hold you there right a lot of them a lot of your masculines are going to have to trust the same way that you had to trust that you're their divine feminine you know like you can't go anywhere else like you're on this journey with them you know you guys remember in my older videos how i would always start it off with the intro this is your journey probably start doing that again and just reminding you guys that like you know each twin it's they're on their own individual journey um but ideally, like, you know, the, the reason you can't stop feeling their energy is because, you know, that's the other half of your soul doing their thing out there, which is why it's always good to wish them the best, right? And like, give them the necessary space that they need to work stuff out. Because the more they do that, and the more you do that, the better you both feel, the more you want to be around each other when you're constantly working on your shit, you know, like working on the stuff that you need to uh, in order to be productive out here, in order to leave the world in a better place than you found it. You know, ideally, that's what we're all craving. Ideally, that's what we all want, you know, and then naturally things start uh, falling into alignment for us in that area of, of romance and love. You know, it's inevitable. Many of us came here to experience all the joys of the world and the pleasure and the romance is part of it. But, you know, with Twin Flames, it's, you know, it's 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 really hard to kind of leave, like, or to, to, to kind of sweep under the rug all the other stuff, right? Like, that's what karmic relationships are for. Karmic people can stay married their whole lives and, like, you know, be unfaithful to one another in secret or, you know, live in a marriage where it's, like, you know, dull or mundane or... You know they stay for the wrong reasons and they'll live out the rest of their lives doing that and and you know they'll wish that they could speak up and and they'll wish that they would have done things differently and then they you know get old and it's too late and that's just how it goes and i feel like twin flames you know your souls end up seeing that pattern here on earth and you guys are like whoa 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 you guys are doing it all wrong like speak up while you can you know especially with the masculines and this energy here that's what that's the um <clears throat> I feel like that's the majority of guidance that they're getting right now. It's like, speak up while you can. The hourglass might be a, a, a symbol for some of you right now, where you're seeing like the hourglass or you're seeing a lot of clocks or, um, 
you know, the, just this whole thing about time, I feel like that's your masculine's energy. It's like they, they're getting guidance about like, you know, just like, what are they waiting on type of thing? Like they are the creator. Um, you know, this card tells me too, a lot of your masculines are struggling with confidence right now and wanting to be bolder and braver and you know if you guys are get, do it seeing readings and there's a lot of pentacles energy coming out um you know some some of them might be held back because if they're getting away from karmic situations with the king of swords here um a lot of them are having to uh to start from scratch and they don't feel so good communicating with you having to start from scratch and what's frustrating them is that they're hoping you're going to wait while they get those pentacles right. <laughs> but there is a lot of pressure because, you know, the more they're moving closer towards you and the more they're ascending, the more the telepathy is happening. They can feel other suitors around you, Divine Feminine. They can feel other energies watching you. Um, many of your masculines might be triggered because they know that some of their own friends <laughs> are uh, keeping a close eye on you as well. Um, and it's, it's creating this level of like... Uh, just competition within them but with the king of cups appearing i feel like it's just healthy competition it's like the divine feminine has a way of making the masculine feel um, just a little bit more creative in that sense so it's like even though they need to get their pentacles right many of them are going to be steady uh, they're with you in communication because I feel like they're starting to see that it's like you genuinely are their twin flame and they they, they want to tread slowly and they want to tread gently and they want to tread carefully because you know foundation right like many of them are starting to realize it's it's better to create a strong foundation a strong friendship you know don't let their impulses get ahead of them many of them just want to like ravish you is what I'm hearing you know, like they're moving in by trying to claim you, even like sensually, sexually. You know, the 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 more ego side of them wants to come in there and do that so bad. So I feel like there's a lot of your masculines right now really fighting that urge and 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 trying to put things into perspective and approach you um, as more of like the King of Cups. You know, in a way where it's like they they want harmony and they just want to be around your energy and they're just content with that. You know, they're they're battling that animalistic side that just wants to like claim you. Didn't I pull that conquest card in one of the the readings the other day? Yeah, be sure to check out, <laughs> um, you know, the last few readings. Anyways, guys, that's what I have for you for this reading. Okay, whoever's masculine this is, good luck in that battle, um, dear masculine. Okay, you can do it. <laughs> All right, guys, check me out on Patreon um, if you guys want to be part of that community. A big shout out to the mega crew. Thanks so much for your support. Uh, otherwise, I'll catch you guys in tomorrow night's reading. All right. All right. Take care, guys. Bye. Oh, we did. <laughs>